The building of the shed was, would not have happened if it wasn't for volunteers. Uh, volunteers were tradesmen who volunteered their, their skills, their expertise, and that provided a, a major part of the building of the building. I first got involved with this project because in, initially they were going to make this the men's shed and they needed to do extensions to the community house, so hence the Lawson Shed project was born. My involvement with the Lawson Shed was on a handyman basis. And so I was involved in the building process from basically from start to finish and helping trades set up for pouring concrete, um, helping to put insulation in walls, uh, painting. Part I enjoyed most was learning a new skill um, putting the retaining wall up outside. It's something that I've never done before and I always like to pick up new skills um, and get a job done at the same time and take that skill home and in fact use it at my own place to build retaining walls at my own place. Because the wall of the building is thinner than normal, when it came time to put the extractor fans in the bathroom areas, they actually protruded outside. So I actually designed and made some covers if you like and I also made the sign on the front of the building. Being able to help Brian was very beneficial all around really. We worked well together and achieved what we set out to, to do. Probably on the whole project I would say full time at least four months. Heather Manders is our uh, services coordinator here and she's been with us for about six years now. We also have uh, Catherine Shuri, who is Community Engagement Coordinator. She's been with us about four years. Both of them work for two days, but that's, that's what they get paid for. They use a lot of their own time as well. Heather is the editor of the um, newsletter, which is Kurura Connect, which is a very professional looking magazine, which uh, reaches out to about 1,500 people per month. I look after the um, administration, I look after the volunteers and um, some activities and the general running of the house and um, I also assist the management committee. Brian's role at the house is our office manager, it's an honorary position. He um, is a dreamer and a bit of a schemer and um, you ask him to do something, he'll do it tenfold. We all just work so well together and uh, you can see the achievement with the Lawson Shed. With all the um, sustainable measures, with the, the water tanks, the solar power and the skylights, it's all just improved the, the centre and it's just um, helped us with our costs. So the, um, the money that um, we have saved, um, with which we can put the revenue back into the community house, and um, also to continue our programs and um, to keep the centre open for the community and that's what we're all about. The most favourite is the skylights I think because um, this place could be quite dark at times and um, the natural light coming through the centre is just amazing. With the, the sustainability part uh, and also the activities we operate here and our, our method of operation, we have become used as a model for other community houses within the Shire. So we have become a leader as the best community-based building operation on the Sunshine Coast. I was really lucky and flabbergasted when during the opening, the Lord Mayor, or the Mayor here, handed me a drill and a plaque and it had on there the Lawson Shed. I was flabbergasted that the building was actually named after me, and I'm very proud of that fact. Phew, it sure gets hot here in Australia, so it's important to look at energy efficient ways of keeping cool. Before you head to the aircon shop, you'll be amazed at how much you can keep the temperature down using other cooling ideas, such as this. Good insulation, using blinds to keep the sun out, using external awnings to keep the sun off the windows, blocking harsh sunlight, using trees and vegetation, 
and opening up all the windows when a cool change comes through. You might want to check out some roof treatments, like applying heat reflective roof paint and installing Whirlybird ventilators. These can lower temperatures in buildings without insulation. But think carefully about this because results can vary. Then there's fans. They might not actually reduce the temperature in the room, but keeping the air moving makes it feel a lot cooler. And after all, isn't that the point? Ceiling fans are both cost effective and energy efficient. If you want to get the most out of a floor fan, pop a big bowl of ice in front of it or place it next to an open window. And then there's air conditioning. These systems have come a long way. Split system air conditioners tend to be a lot more efficient than wall units. And of course, reverse cycle systems are also heaters in winter. Check the star rating to make sure you're selecting the best one. Make sure people use the air conditioner in a responsible way also. Keep the doors and windows shut and try not to turn it down below 24 degrees. If you've got a ducted system, block off the vents in the rooms you're not using. Good luck beating the heat and head to a greenhouse around the corner website for more details. There's so many ways to be green I've been hearing so much about it I want to be in on the scene So tell me where it's happening Just around the corner Is where it's all happening In a greenhouse around the corner Finding energy solutions just around the corner is where it's all happening.